Indian gym trainer shot by in-laws over interfaith marriage. On October 30th, a 26-year-old Hindu gym trainer, Deva Chand, was shot in the head in Model Town, a neighborhood in Northwest Delhi. Chand was shot by his brother-in-law, Sean Nawaz, 21, and um, a friend of his, a friend of the brother-in-law, um, here, oh, Hrithrik, I'm sorry, I don't know how to say that name, both of whom are Muslims. Sean Lawaz confessed to the shooting and explained that he was, quote, upset and angry at his sister's marriage to someone with a, of a different religion. Both suspects were charged with attempt, attempted murder. The couple has known each other since they were teenagers and were married this past July against their family's approval. The victim's family also insisted on proceeding with the charges, on pressing charges. Quote, I know he was upset, but I never expected this would happen, Deva's wife explained. She insisted that her brother should be punished for what he did. Quote, do what can be done. They mean nothing to me. I just want my husband to be okay. According to the most recent reports, Deva is still in critical condition and is undergoing treatment. So this is obviously, this was a big story of uh, what happened in India this week. Horrible, tragic. I can get into some more details about how um, basically the details that have been released so far, it, it seems like they actually set up this guy to then go try to kill him um, in a way that was really deceptive. Um, and it's really sad. So they, like I said, they've known each other since they were teenagers. They decided to get married earlier this summer. And originally both families were firmly against them, but eventually the wife's family actually, you know, kind of got used to them and accepted them. Wait, no, no, sorry. The reverse. The husband's family um, was okay with it after, after some time and started to accept them. The wife's family, however, she basically had to cut them out for a period of time because they were threatening her. And um, the husband's family was receiving threats as well. Um, against them. And they were married in the temple. They moved out of town. They moved away from people were just kind of like doing their own thing, trying to start their life as newlyweds. And then, like I said, the details that have been revealed so far makes it seem as if the wife's brother, um, her name has not been released at this point, um, basically reached out to them and was like, Hey, I want to meet up with you. And, um, he, they, it seemed like he met up with the couple and then the husband got on the back of a bike with him and they rode off. And then some reports made it seem as if they basically was like someone pulled up and tried to shoot him while they were on the bike together. Um, and, um, what's interesting is that we cover a lot of the contention around interfaith marriages in India, especially recently, ever since the anti-love jihad law was passed. And, what I found interesting was a lot of Indian news outlets will be very quick to say what the religions of the various people involved are. But when I was reading this from Indian news outlets, I it stood out to me that they weren't saying what the religions of the people involved were. Because usually when we cover these interfaith relationship issues, the, the reports will actually report it as such. And I can't, I would be lying if I said it didn't stand out to me that they didn't explicitly say that the assailant, the perpetrator, was a Muslim. Why? Why is it when the other way around they mention it? But not now. I mean, that's a good question. Hmm. I think... I this is like speculation. I'm thinking it might be kind of we're similar. We're not, but guys, how... we're not suggesting we're we're not we're not suggesting anything. We're actually asking. Yeah, like yeah. I mean, yeah. Okay, go on. Well, I thought it was interesting because I've seen a lot of people make the criticism that um, of like left wing media bias when um, they won't when media won't point out when a minority does a bad thing, right? So in a way, I kind of thought maybe this is a similar phenomenon to how news is racialized in America. For example, like if um, a white cop shoots a black guy, like that will be explicitly set in the headline, right? 
but if the races are reversed, it's not you it's very rarely characterized with the races of the perpetrator and the victim like explicitly in the title uh, read this comment ghost bunny ghost is saying bunny. this is extremely awful it's 2021 and people are afraid of being in love with who they love because of religion people should not be killed over this certainly not um and this is what mia is saying Indian news outlets are attempting to be politically correct like British ones. This is why Hindus are getting radicalized. Well, th this, right. this is speculation, but I, I, I know how Hindu nationalists would use something like this to fit their narrative. Mm. They would say, look, they're always pointing out when we do something wrong, but when the minority does something to harm us, they're never going to actually name it as such. Like this, they, they this is a feather in their cap, right? Right. So let me just point out a few things. This is the basically what was happening here is the opposite of what Hindutva would like to refer to as love jihad, right? So there's this conspiracy by spread by Hindutva that Muslim men are marrying Hindu women as a way to demographically make India Muslim. And that's ridiculous. That's not, that's not happening. And that's not how it's going to work. You know, you can't do that demographically. You can't change the, um, and yeah. And what, because of that, a lot of Hindu for go and attack, um, Muslim men and Hindu women that have fallen in love with each other and, you know, they attack their weddings, they abuse them, they kill them sometimes, right? They, they get the police to arrest them in one province, at least, Uttar Pradesh has become illegal. Uh, this is amazing. This is like 2021, and we have where interfaith marriage apparently is now illegal in at least one province, is, in the biggest province in India, right? Um, with a giant population of like multiple countries. Um, and now this is the opposite of it happening, right? So again, we we mentioned that Hindutva doesn't have a problem with a Hindu man marrying a Muslim woman because apparently a lot of Muslims and a lot of Hindus just think women are property. So it's not like when when Hindu there's no problem with a Hindu man marrying a Muslim woman is because you basically took one of theirs. But there's a problem with the Muslim man marrying a Hindu woman because if that happens, they're taking one of yours. Like as if like it's not it's not the interfaith nature of it that they're against. It's the it's the stealing part that they're against. You know what I mean? Like they're not they don't have a problem with it being interfaith if the man side of this interfaith marriage or union is on your side. You know what I mean? So the inter the, the problem with it is not that it interfaith is like who get like are we are you getting their woman or are we losing our woman? That's the that's how they think about this. It's amazing that this is uh, God damn it. But but what did I mean? Do, shouldn't like the fact that a Hindu man was attacked by a Muslim for two a, a couple who are in the guys like people are falling in love. And they want to be with each other. Just let them God. Just let them be with each other. Why is this this? Like, how can you not consider yourself evil if you're against people? If you are trying to separate people who are in love with each other? Like, I don't understand how people cannot be reflective of it. Can we enough. get the meme again? Like, to realize that I am, I am the evil person in this scenario. If I, if I am, if people are in love, like even in Indian movies. Indian and Urdu movies, it's like the evil, like you have like a young couple in love and there's an evil character that is trying to separate them. Like even based on Indian culture, those are very famous Bollywood movies. So this is not like a, a foreign concept, you know, like look at, look at Indian fiction. Like all oh, people are in love and some evil force is separating them. Well, you are, you are the evil force in this story now. Anyways. Um, that but, meme will but, never but, not but, be but, perfect. Yeah, exactly. But what I try, but I'm trying to understand. Okay, let me let me make make this point. Um, 
what I'm trying to understand is that wouldn't some wouldn't like what would a Hindutva um commentary on this news be? Like the fact that a Hindu man was attacked. Maybe the one reason why Hindutva doesn't want to attack want to highlight the story. Oh, here's my conspiracy theory. Ready for this, Suzy? Okay. So you're like, why is Hindutva not highlighting this? Because you would think that this fits the narrative as a way that we should oh look muslims being muslim is attacking us we should retaliate i think this looks too much like what they do and highlighting this might make them look like ooh this is what it looks like <laughs> this is I think... this is what we're like this might this this is because hindutva attacks a lot of uh hindu men who fall in love who are in who are with muslim um sorry Hindutva attacks a lot of Muslim men who are with Hindu women. I think attacking this just brings too much of an attention of how much they do the same thing. Maybe that's why they're avoiding it. I I, I don't think that's likely, but I'm just wondering that that could be the conspiracy. Like it just yeah, well, it's like think, a mirror. I think the conspiracy yeah, is what I said, which is going to be look at this leftist politically correct media covering for the evil deeds, blah, blah, blah. They're in bed with them. They're sympathizing. They refuse to point out the danger in our midst. Like, I think, no, but, I think yeah. that would be it. No, but like, but, but again, if they do that, if they do that, if they're saying like, if Hindutva comes out and says like, oh, like Hindu men attacked, then, so are you endorsing? Are you okay with Hindu men? So you're you're so are you telling me that a Hindu man being in love with a Muslim woman is a okay and nobody should be abusing the Hindu man? Well, we agree, right? We agree. So are you gonna abide by that sa same standard when a Muslim man falls in love with a Hindu woman? You know, maybe that's why I don't know. Maybe that's why they might want to hide this under the rug. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Ababi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.